I see a lot of developers struggling with the context API when moving to Next 13 and server components. So in this video, I'll be coding a simple email pop-up form using, well, the context API. Now, please ignore the crappy UI here, but this is what we're starting with. We have a button and when we click this button, we want to open up this email form and we want to close the form when this X button is clicked. Now let's first create a file which will contain all of our context logic. Let's call it email form context.tsx. Uh, now let's write the use client directive since we are going to be using the client component in this case, since we cannot use use form or use context in a server component. Now let's import everything that we'll need from React. So this will be uh, create uh, context, use context, and the use state hooks, uh, obviously from React. Now let's initialize and export the email form provider itself and it will accept uh, children, the prop.children property. Now let's initialize and export the context. So export const email form context equals uh, create context. And let's leave it as an empty object for now. Now TypeScript was complaining about children not having any type, so I just quickly declared it, but it's not the point of this video. So let's move on to um, initializing the state. And so we'll have an is open and set is open as our use state and let's initialize it to false. Now let's also declare a function which would toggle the state. So const toggle open equals to a function which would set is open to the opposite of is is open and now finally let's return the email form context provider with the values of um, is open and toggle open and inside of it, we will insert our props.children because this is the provider that will wrap around all of the components that will be using this context. Now we initially set the create context as an empty object, but let's change this right now to initialize is open to false and the toggle, uh, toggle open to an empty function. Now the final thing we'll want to do here is export our custom hook so export const use email form let's initialize it to a function which calls the use context of um, email form context now at this point we've created a custom hook which will be able to use anywhere in our app and this will be really handy as we'll see really soon now that we've wrapped our components with the context provider we can actually head to the hero section uh, component and here we'll also use the use client directive since we're going to use context, which is not enabled on server components. Um, and here we'll import the use our custom hook that we've uh, created. So use email form. And here we can initialize um, is open and toggle open from the uh, context. Now to use the context that we've created, let's first import the email form provider into our page. And here we'll wrap uh, our hero section with the email uh, form provider, as this is the top level component basically from which we'll be sharing state. Now let's head to our email form component and here we'll also use the uh, use clients directive since this is going to be a client component since we're going to use context so we'll also import the use email form custom hook that we've uh, declared and so here uh, the same thing we'll import or rather use the uh, toggle open function from the context so first of all we're going to use the is open uh, value to determine whether to render the email form or not render it. So if uh, the is open is set to true, it will render the email form. Now, because is open is initially set to false, we can already see the result here um, that the email form is not being rendered. So to actually render the form, we'll want to toggle the is open. And to do that, we are going to attach an 
on click event listener on this button and we're going to set the function to toggle open now we can already see this in action so if we click this button the form appears and lastly here we'll attach an on click listener to the close button and we'll trigger the toggle open function when it is clicked now let's test if it actually works and hey here we go we have an email pop-up form which is toggled by these two buttons i hope this video helped you See ya.